All right, let me just thank the members and the staff that all participated in this. And I just, I wanted to make a comment in regards to uh, Florida. I know this is a national bill, and so a lot of my comments will pertain to similar areas. Right. But, but I want to first, I want to thank you for money for beach restoration and dredging, very important to our economies. Uh, has had beaches are not just about sunburns. It's, I mean, we, we get a lot of tourism and also shore protection. The dredging for the waterways, commerce, the water commerce is very important. Billions of dollars of economic ac activity. And I also to thank you for the climate, for the energy uh, efficiency f uh, research and so forth. Uh, just go to Miami and you'll see it's, it's underwater many, many days of the year just from climate change. The, the, uh, and I think Debbie will probably may mention about the new starts. I'm happy to see new starts. I know we've been trying to get money for Port Everglades for a lot of years. But the big issue I wanted to mention today was Everglades restoration, uh, which I don't know if, uh, how many people are aware, but uh, the Everglades it, uh, it, it's, is the source of drinking water in Florida for over 8 million people and lots of visitors. And maybe about 20 years ago, there was a report that showed that there was serious uh, degradation uh, due to uh, work that was done not maliciously, but to try to deal with hurricanes and so forth. The Army Corps and some state agencies completely messed up the flow of the water so that uh, there was indications that we would, were going to completely lose our quality of life and a lot of our economy in South Florida. The federal government agreed with the state of Florida and entered into a plan called Everglades Restoration to uh, mutually fund this project, <clears throat> which we have been doing, and which I want to say Florida this year uh, put $360 million in its budget towards this project. Now, I know our, and this, I want to say something else. This is very bipartisan. This is like one of the few things that our entire Florida delegation uh, supports. We put in a request for $200 million for this, in this year's budget. My understanding is, and I don't know whether this is correct, but my understanding is that uh, one of the reasons we could not meet that is because the president's budget had a much lower amount. Since that time, uh, this, uh, this week, the president has now tweeted that he supports $200 million for Everglades restoration, which is what our bipartisan caucus had asked for. So, I, so my, my request is just this, is as this flows through, to, to try to take a look at that again so that maybe we can all be on the same page. And I yield back. Is that a motion that we should always back the president's tweets? Well, you know something? <laughs> can, can I just say something? I, I, I so really agree with the president. I'm happy to say this is something, yeah. He can tweet about this all he wants. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Congress.